Hello everyone, my name is Matt. Um, I've got some pictures of this up on my blog, but this is my extra Warre box that I'm going to be using as a bait hive. Now it's about half the size of what most people recommend for a bait hive. They recommend about 40 liters. This is about half that. If I had two extra Warre boxes, I would uh, put them together and use that for bait hive, but unfortunately I don't right now. I'm going to plan on building some more and I might add to this, might make some more bait highs, but this is what I've got. There's the top bars that are going to go inside with some um, beeswax starter strips, obviously. Over here I've got some extra beeswax that I'm going to rub inside the hive to give it more of that scent. And then most of the materials that I found recommended using lemongrass essential oils, either dripped right into the box or onto a napkin inside of a paper bag with a few holes punched in it. Something like that. Apparently the lemongrass scent is chemically very similar to some of the pheromones that bees give off. Um, I haven't had a chance to order any essential oils yet, but I did have some actual lemongrass left. I did some Thai cooking a while ago and I had three socks of this left. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to smash it up with this meat tenderizer and then I'm going to rub that inside the hive too and then probably just leave the extra stock inside of there. Hopefully that'll give it the scent that they're looking for. Um, then I'm going to screw the lid back on right there. It's just a, a plywood lid. I um, The bottom, I didn't have enough plywood to do one solid piece, so I put the two pieces on the bottom because I figure that doesn't matter if it's as watertight as the top. So the top's going to be a solid piece of plywood. And then the um, hive itself I've already uh, waterproofed, but the, the plywood top and bottom I haven't yet. So I've got this um, beeswax polish that I made out of um, equal parts beeswax, linseed oil, and turpentine. And then I've just got a little rag here, um, cut up old t-shirt that I'm going to use to apply that to the top and bottom, which I will show you in just a minute how I'm going to do that. So for now, I'm just going to rub this inside. I'm going to smash this up and then um, rub that inside. I'm going to screw the top on and then I'll show you how to apply that polish there. All right, so I've rubbed the inside of the hive with some of that extra beeswax, smashed up the lemongrass, rubbed that inside too, and I just left the smashed up stock in there. Hopefully it's enough scent, hopefully it's not too much. I really don't know with just using the lemongrass how much to use. I've put the top bars back in and the top back on. I've put a little bit of the polish there and I was just gonna show you how easy it is to rub in. You just take the rag and you just start rubbing it around doesn't take a whole lot. Um, with my actual hive, I did this about two weeks before the bees got there, so it had time to really soak in and dry. With this bait hive, I'm really not that concerned about it. I'll just stick it out in the tree. I'm going to stick it about 8 to 15 feet up in a tree at my father-in-law's house. See if we catch any bees. Now, as I mentioned, there's a couple things wrong with this hive. I don't have... It's not big enough, obviously. I don't have the lemongrass essential oil. And another thing that most places recommend is use old wood. Bees seem more attracted to old wood than new wood. Or use broken down boxes that you already have that have had bees in them before. Obviously didn't do that either. This is my first year ever beekeeping. But my basic philosophy is if I don't put it out, not going to get any bees. Guaranteed. So even though there's you know a couple things wrong with this... I uh, figure might as well try. Can't hurt. It's not being used right now, at the very least, by my bees. So I'm going to finish waterproofing the top and the bottom. And uh, make sure you really get these sides here, because that really is going to be quite uh, porous to water where the grain ends. So I kind of do that by hand. I put a little the polish on my fingers and really work it into the ends by hand. I'm going to finish this. Hopefully sometime this week we'll get it up. It's already May 18th, which is, you know, I don't really know when swarming season in Minnesota is, especially this year since the spring came so late, but I want to get this up as soon as possible. I am going to try to build a few more boxes, try to get a second hive ready in case we do catch anything. So as we get more boxes, I probably do two of these together they'd be the right size for a trap probably figured a way to put them on top of each other be the right size for the trap and the beauty of using 
these war a boxes for the trap is if I do catch any bees, all I need to do is build a roof, a quilt, and a base, and the bees are already in their home. I don't have to transfer them to anything. So that's the plan, and I'll let you know how it goes. Check out the blog, topbarbeesmn.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.